Shalom, Shalom, Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, Bashim Rakakwadash. God, by honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, in peace and salutations unto the elect other nations of Israel. And to you, speaking for Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all, say Shalom. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that are out there listening and learning. And shalom to all you um, brothers that are out there in the highways and byways doing the work of the Lord in these latter times, trying to wake up the elect, because that's who matters. Um, two thirds of all people in this time, you know, will be destroyed. Um, I also want to say this video is for the Israelites only. You know, the Israelites of who you call today, so called black, so called Hispanic, so called Native American, Puerto, Puerto, Rican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, um, Guatemalan, the Panamanians, those are Israelites always have been and always will be. Um, but as y'all can see, as y'all can see, I have on the screen um an article from End Time Headlines. And these are like the last um few articles that there are as far as about the same thing about you know mysterious objects, you know seen in the sky, um which you know a lot of objects that have been being seen is the uh, chariots of the Lord, which is what Esau mainly calls you. This is like a well, Esau even mainly calls UFOs. Now, this one says, a, as mystery objects are shot down, the U.S. has just set up a new new task force on UFOs, right? And they can't shoot down a damn cherry, man. <laughs> Esau's lying, lying his ass off. He can't do that, you know. They they, they don't they can't shoot down no cherry. They they lying. They playing at something, you know, because this has been the the uh the thing that's been going on lately. And there's been a lot of uh, chariot sightings, not only just in America, but over there in them other countries, like in the so-called Middle East, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan, because I know that big earthquake just happened over there in Iran. I think before the earthquake happened, I think there was a chariot sighting, or it was like a huge cloud, which the scriptures say uh, the Lord, it, it compares the chariots, you know, spaceships as, as far as the clouds, because they cloak themselves. Let's get this in the book of Revelations real quick. As it says, the Lord's going to come back in the cloud. And that's not a literal rain cloud. That's just what the vehicles, you know, what Esau, Edom calls UFOs, they cloak themselves in clouds and they look like clouds a lot of times. This is Revelations chapter 1 verse 7. It says, Behold, he come up with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all the kindreds of the earth shall will because of him. Even so, amen. You see? So, um, a lot of times in the scriptures when it speaks on clouds, it's not talking about a literal cloud, like the, you know, the, the, um, like a rain cloud. It's talking about a so-called UFO, because a lot of the times, uh, the chariots of the Lord, which, you know, are called so-called UFOs, according to Esau, they cloak themselves, you know? That's just, they, the, the Lord speaks in code, you know? Because the Lord didn't call them UFOs, they're chariots of the Lord. You know, but they can't shoot down a UFO, man. They just, they just saying that, you know, and uh, they, you know, they didn't just set up no new tax force. They been did that. I forgot what it was called. They been did that. They did. They set up a um, it was a space force. That was when Trump was in power or when Trump was president or whatever. You know, so they been did that. You know, cause there's gonna be a war in heaven. You know, um, between Esau, which is which he is the dragon. You know, this system. And uh, Michael and, and uh, you know, which is the top angel outside of Yahweh, you know, that war in heaven is going to be talking about the, these different world armies against Yahweh, our Lord. That ain't no damn alien invasion. He didn't shoot down no damn UFO. Um, let's see what else this devil, you know, is talking about. This one says Russian nuke bombers spotted near Alaska. You know, a lot of stuff is going on, man. You know, it says the plot thickens. White House says there's no indication Mystery objects were a part of China spy program, you know. So these chariots are showing themselves, man. You know, um, let's get Wisdom of Solomon chapter. I got got the wrong one. Wisdom of Solomon chapter five, verse one. It says, "Um, then shall the righteous." No, not that one. So like it. Verse two says, "When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear." And should be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they had looked for. You see? What is that talking about? That's talking about the elect of Israel being beamed up. You know? These devils are shook. And, and the people in the world, I, I took this of our own people that don't know this truth. 
you know, just the average, the every, the everyday average so-called citizen around the world, they don't know what to think because they these things, are, you know, these so-called UFOs are real, but they're not big head green men that the Esau tells you. You know, those are the angels, man. You know, the angels that the Lord created. You know, um, and they're coming here to destroy and save, but to do damage to most people. You know, um. Let me get another one. This one says, Asteroid strikes Earth's atmosphere over Europe, leaving onlookers and all. There's a, there's a lot of things, man. The scriptures say there should be signs in the heavens, but the scriptures also tell us not to be dismayed at the heavens like the heathen. We're, we're not to be worried. We're not to be um, sad or, you know, shook by these different things because these are all signs of Yahweh Shah's coming. You know, all these different things that's taking place. Um, this one says, it says, Cockpit audio reveals pilot saying, Lake Huron, uh, an octagonal UFO was not a balloon. You know? So, the truth was coming out in these last days, man. They can't hide. It's, let me get this in the book of Luke real quick. They cannot hide. This is Luke 12 and verse 2. It says, for there is nothing covered that should not be revealed, neither hid that should not be known. You see? Um, so everything that was once hid or once, you know, not known as being known, everybody has heard, you know, about, you know, these these uh vehicles or so called extraterrestrials and whatnot, you know. Um you know. And uh, it's not a, it's not a secret, you know, that they have heard, you know, because I did a video probably about a year ago, I think, about Esau Eden basically um, admitting that um, that UFOs are real and that they're not they're not just a fairy tale or a myth because there's too many videos about people saying that they're real and that you know they're popping up everywhere and they can't hide from it, you know. And with this, you know, Esau has something called a deep fake, and um, what's the other thing? I forgot what it's called. I can't think of what it's called, but Esau has all different types of ways to deceive people, man. Because the scriptures say, um, if it be possible, he should deceive the very elect, you know? Um, so, you know, be aware of what this man is saying, man. He didn't shoot down no UFO, man, because that's, that's basically, he's basically telling you that he has power over the Lord, and he doesn't. You know, or cause they already admitted too that they that the the power that these so-called UFOs have is way more advanced than they could ever imagine. They would take years and years for them to catch up. They've admitted that before. I can't. I'm not gonna pull up the video or try to find it, but I seen it on the video when they was saying that. So how in the hell are you gonna shoot down the UFO? You know, it don't make sense. But you know, since the world is in darkness and the world is, is stupid to stuff. They're going to believe everything this man say. This is uh, Isaiah 60. And verse 2 says, For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness to people, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And that gross darkness is the majority of people not knowing what's really going on in the world. They don't have the true understanding of this you know, realm, this time period, this life, this earth. They don't have the understanding. That was only given to the prophets, the men of the Lord, you know, that are Israelites, man. You know, because that's who the word of the Lord was given to from the beginning. You know, the Lord was not dealing with every nation. He's not dealing with every person. He's only dealing with one nation. And he's only dealing with the elect out of that nation, the Israelites. You know, but this, um, we're living in the last days, so a lot of stuff is happening. You know, a lot of stuff is happening. Um, let me get um, Psalms, I think it's 104 and verse 3. Let me get that real quick. It says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? And who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Well, what is that talking about? It's talking about a so-called UFO, man. You know? The waters are talking about the heavens, the, the skies. You know? And like I said, cloud is a cold word for chariot or so-called UFO. You know, because... How could, when it says they walketh upon the wings of the wind, 
Yeah, let's talk about it flying. You know? Uh, and that's what so-called UFOs do. Right? But they have to build up some type of, you know, negative uh, narrative concerning it so they could um, make people believe what they, they want them to believe and, you know, be on their side, which really, I mean... The chariots are not on your side at all if you uh, a heathen or if you a two third, you know. So it really don't matter either way, you know, because everything is already ordained. But these devils got something up their sleeve. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Is it something Project something? I can't think of what it's called. Um, oh, Project Blue Beam. These devils got a lot of power that the Lord gave them, but every, the Lord is is control of everything though. We got to remember that Yahweh Shai is having these devils do what they do. He's putting these thoughts in their head. And he's making them do what they do as far as uh the unrighteous decrees, you know, um having stuff be mandatory, you know. Sp speaking of mandatory, that MOTB is coming to RFID, you know. That's gonna be mandatory soon. So, you know, these devils are shook, man. But th this is our salvation, Lord willing, if we're a part of the elect. So don't believe this devil is shooting down the UFO or. You know, but that, that can't happen. But it will happen, though. This is going to be the war in heaven. You, you know, pretty soon. Um, If I can find that one scripture. There's birds flying. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this scripture. Psalm 68 and 17. Because I don't think I got that one. Psalm 68. Psalms 68 and 17. It says, um, the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as as in Sinai. So there's thousands, there's millions of angels, man, millions of chariots. You know, and that's what's going to happen when that Lord come back. You know, you're going to see those. Um, let me see, there's birds flying. So like, let me get that real quick. Birds flying. It's Isaiah 31 and 5. Because you also got a lot of our people that know the Israelites. You got different camps that don't even believe. The, you got a lot of unbelief, man, amongst our own people that know the Israelites, man. It's, it's But it is what it is, though. You know? You got a lot of our people that still believe that they're going to just get on the boat or get on the plane and physically go to another country and be, be saved. Didn't the Lord say he would deliver us? You know? The Lord said he's going to deliver us. But you got Jake. They believe in themselves. You know, this is Isaiah 31 in verse um, 5. It says, as birds flying, so the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also he will deliver it and pass over. He will preserve it. You know, so the Lord is going to, you know, what does that mean as birds, birds fly? He's going to use them cherries. The cherries fly, you know, like birds in the sky. That's what he's going to use. When when World War Three is popping off, when this missile is being shot over here in America, the elect is gonna be beamed up at the same time, simultaneously. You know, some of the elect will perish, will die, but that hey, they, if they're part of the elect and you die, you gonna you gonna be the first one to be raised back up into a chariot. You know, um, so yeah, man, don't believe nothing this devil says, man. You know, he didn't shoot down no UFO. You know, he can't do that. This devil got something else up his sleeve. You know. Um, but I just want to bring this out, man. You know, we're in critical, critical, and we, we at the end, you know, um, we really, really at the end, man, more than ever. Um, I just wanted to do this video, man, bring this out because any day you could be defending the word and everything shut off, EMP attack, you know, and then Esau could bring in that RFID because that, that has to happen before World War Three can fully happen, you know, and that, that could be it. You know, so I just wanted to bring this out, man. You know, um, one the sheep, one the flock of what's to come, what's happening, you know. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, I'm going to close out. Lord willing, it's edifying. I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mekak Wadash. Um, that by honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. I want to say Shalom, Y, Ababa, Shalom.